Welcome back. Now, if you were not specifically knowledgeable about areas of HTML code, you can ask ChatGPT in order to help you to create instances of HTML code. And you can write your request in plain language, and you can allow ChatGPT in order to give you an output that you can try. And to do that, all we need to do is to write in the command as we want to see it. We're now going to write in our command, and we're now going to click Enter. And we're going to allow ChatGPT in order to help us to create this specific command. And we can use it on a specific page for us to use in our business. Now, you want to make sure that you copy the response to a separate area. You also want to make sure that you keep the information in your chat history so that you can find it when you need it. In some cases, you may come back to the interface and you may find that in a period of high usage on chat GPT that you can't access this. And so you will want to make sure that it is copied to a place where you can access the information if you're not online or if chat GPT is at capacity. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.